here's my experience with uh, preserving collecting insects um, here I have some these are basically lip balm jars and then this was actually one of the first insects that I preserved it's a scorpion here in a cassette tape case um, I found this guy in Italy and I used a bottle of fingernail enamel, clear enamel, and I coated it. This is before I knew about, um, you know, the legs shrinking in. And uh, basically, I didn't really know what I was doing. You can see it's kind of raising off, but when it's totally dry, I had it all taped up. But an, an insect, you can see where it shed itself, ate the insides of the scorpion. So this this is I imagine very brittle. I used to have it taped right onto there. Um, and so as long as it's not agitated it should be fine. But any kind of jarring it will uh, likely break one of the appendages. Um, the color is still pretty much there for what it was originally. Um, things like spiders, if you read online, uh, a lot of people say put them in rubbing alcohol. And I have some issues with rubbing alcohol. These are black widows that are preserved in rubbing alcohol. Over time, they um, bleach. You actually lose the color of the abdomen, the red hourglass which kind of defeats the whole purpose. And the alcohol, unless you have a sealed glass jar, which is breakable, um, you are going to um, have to refill it. And as you can see, and change the alcohol, it yellows over time. So not my favorite choice. That also, it evaporates, and if you have it stored, other things, these are wood, black widow's nests, the rubbing alcohol actually permeates into uh, the plastic here and there's actual alcohol moisture condensing at the um, on the nest so kind of ruins the rest of your collection this one seems to be fine but this one was closer to that one so something to be aware of what I found this is a this is a little fly I don't know what it is. It's it's an interesting little thing. It looks like a bee, but it's not. Let's see if we can get it. So this was kept just totally dry. But again, when you do that, it becomes very brittle and susceptible to insects, other other bugs finding and eating it and co possibly compromising it. And so while that may be good for some things like moths and butterflies that have kind of a powdery um, substance on them, I'll show you what I did, and I found this to be the best. This is a wasp, and it's encased in mineral oil. Uh, it looks the same as the day I put it in. This is over a year. You can still see the yellow. Um, it, and the viscosity of the mineral oil um, prevents it, like this one here, this black widow, very loose. So it jars the limbs and appendages, whereas the mineral oil keeps it soft. Um, it keeps it from jarring and breaking appendages it doesn't leak um, it doesn't evaporate so I, I like this a lot as far as uh, options preserving here's a spider another thing that happens it's getting a lot of reflection here so this is a spider you can see the color on it I, I hope you can anyway um, and you don't get that with the alcohol. The alcohol just bleaches it out. This also pre preserves the fine hairs that the alcohol kind of, the acid or whatever properties of alcohol kind of seems to burn it up and, and uh, 
eliminate it. So, um, and also, it kind of dehydrates the specimen, where the abdomen will kind of deflate. Whereas this one, it's just as large as when I put it in over a year ago. So that's my experience. That's my suggestion is using mineral oil. Um, from what I know, it's uh, antibacterial. Um, whereas glycerin, I mean alcohol is also. Glycerin, some people use vegetable glycerin, which is not antibacterial. So those are my suggestions and tips for preserving insects. Uh, let me know if you have any. Thanks for watching.